Gloria Dehaven was a luminous actress and singer who left an indelible mark on the world of classic Hollywood. Born in 1925, she was the daughter of vaudeville stars Carter D. Haven and Flora Parker. With such a rich show business heritage, it's no surprise that Gloria would follow in her parents' footsteps and become a star in her own right. Gloria's career spanned several decades, and she appeared in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions. She made her film debut in 1935 alongside her father in Jorge for Love. However, it was her role in Best Foot Forward in 1943 that really put her on the map. She played the character of Helen Schlesinger, and her performance was met with critical acclaim. Throughout her career, Gloria worked with some of the biggest names in Hollywood, including Bing Crosby, Frank Sinatra, and Fred Astaire. She appeared in a variety of genres, from musicals to dramas, and her talent was undeniable. Gloria was not just an actress and singer, she was also a devoted wife and mother. She was married four times and had four children. Despite the challenges of balancing her career and family life, she remained committed to both. Gloria D. Haven's contributions to the entertainment industry are still celebrated today. Her talent, beauty, and charm continue to resonate with audiences, and her legacy lives on through her work. She will always be remembered as a true Hollywood icon. Gloria D. Haven was a beloved actress, known for her work in films such as Two Girls and A Sailor and Summerstock. You might have first recognized her in a classic movie or perhaps from one of her television appearances. Her enduring qualities, such as her talent, charm, and grace, have made her an everlasting symbol of the golden age of Hollywood. Do you remember the first time you saw Gloria D. Haven on screen? What is it about her that has made her an iconic figure in the industry? We would love to hear your stories and memories about this classic star. Throughout this video, we will be sharing many interesting facts about Gloria D. Haven, from funny anecdotes to surprising revelations, and even a few heartwarming moments. So be sure to keep watching to learn more about this fascinating actress. Gloria D. Haven was born in Los Angeles in 1925, the daughter of vaudeville performers Carter D. Haven and Flora Parker. She grew up surrounded by show business, with her parents and older sister, actress Constance D. Haven, all involved in entertainment. D. Haven's parents ran a popular nightclub in Hollywood, where Gloria was exposed to many famous performers of the time. D. Haven's early exposure to show business led to her interest in acting and singing. She began her career as a child actress, appearing in several short films and playing a small role in the 1939 film The Wizard of Oz. As she grew older, Dee Haven continued to act and sing, appearing in numerous films and stage productions throughout her career. Key influences and mentors in Dee Haven's life included her parents, who taught her the ins and outs of the entertainment industry, and actress Ethel Merman, who became a close friend and mentor. Dee Haven also credited director George Sidney with giving her a big break in the film Summer Stock, which starred Judy Garland and Gene Kelly. Dee Haven's talent and dedication to her craft earned her a place as a respected and beloved actress and singer in the world of entertainment. She continued to work in film, television, and theater until her retirement in 2016. Gloria Dee Haven was born on July 23, 1925, in Los Angeles, California. She was the daughter of actor George Dee Haven and actress Flora Parker Dee Haven. Gloria began her career in show business as a child actor, appearing in several movies with her parents. Dee Haven's family background and early exposure to the entertainment industry significantly shaped her career. She studied drama and dance at the American School of Dance in Los Angeles and later at the Professional Children's School in New York City. In 1935, Dee Haven signed a contract with MGM and appeared in several films as a child actor, including The Wizard of Oz and Babes in Arms. After a brief hiatus, she returned to acting in the early 1940s and became a popular leading lady in musicals and comedies. Throughout her career, Dee Haven appeared in over 50 films and television shows, including Summer Stock, Three Little Words, and The Bandwagon. She also performed on stage, appearing in productions of South Pacific, The Unsinkable Molly Brown, and Hello, Dolly. Dee Haven's career was marked by her versatility and talent as a singer and dancer. She was known for her charming on-screen presence 
and her ability to play a range of roles, from comedic leading ladies to dramatic characters. In addition to her work in entertainment, Dee Haven was also an advocate for animal rights and supported various charitable organizations throughout her life. She passed away on July 30, 2016, at the age of 91. Overall, Gloria D. Haven's early life and background in the entertainment industry played a significant role in shaping her successful career as an actress, singer, and dancer. Her talent and versatility allowed her to become a beloved figure in Hollywood and beyond. Gloria D. Haven, the American actress and singer, discovered her passion for acting at a young age. Raised in a show business family, Gloria often accompanied her mother, actress Flora Parker D. Haven, to the studio where she worked as a coach. It was there that Gloria first became captivated by the world of acting. At the age of 12, Gloria made her film debut in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, starring her mother and Ruth Taylor. This experience further ignited her passion for the craft. However, it wasn't until she attended the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York that she truly began to hone her skills. During her time at the Academy, Gloria was introduced to various aspects of acting, from stage to screen, and she thrived in this creative environment. She appeared in numerous stage productions and landed her first leading role in the film Best Foot Forward. This marked the beginning of a successful career that spanned over six decades. Throughout her life, Gloria D. Haven has remained passionate about acting and has made countless contributions to the industry. Her dedication and talent have left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Gloria D. Haven received elocution lessons from the renowned actress Joan Crawford. In the 1950 film Three Little Words, she played the role of her real-life mother, Flora Parker D. Haven. D. Haven's personal life was marked by two marriages to Richard W. Fincher. Their first marriage lasted from 1957 to 1963, and they remarried in 1966, only to divorce again in 1969. These experiences, both professional and personal, shaped D. Haven's life and career. Gloria D. Haven, the American actress and singer, faced numerous challenges in her early career. Despite being born into a show business family, she struggled financially when her parents divorced and her mother lost custody of her. To make ends meet, Gloria and her mother lived in a small apartment and took on various jobs, including singing in nightclubs. Despite these hardships, Gloria's talent and determination caught the attention of MGM, and she was offered a contract. However, her journey was not without obstacles. She faced skepticism from industry insiders who questioned her abilities and worried that she was only being offered roles due to her family connections. Gloria refused to let these doubts discourage her. Instead, she worked even harder to prove herself, taking on various roles and perfecting her craft. She also developed a unique style, blending her singing and acting abilities in a way that few others could. One of the most memorable examples of Gloria's resilience and creativity was her performance in the 1944 film Two Girls and a Sailor. In the film, Gloria played a singer who performs in a nightclub. However, due to a mix-up in the production schedule, she was unable to record the songs for the film before filming began. Determined to make the best of the situation, Gloria decided to sing live during filming. This was a bold move, as most actors at the time lip synced to pre-recorded tracks. But Gloria's gamble paid off, and her live singing added a level of authenticity and energy to the film that was widely praised. Throughout her career, Gloria faced numerous challenges and obstacles, but she refused to let them hold her back. Instead, she used her creativity and determination to overcome them, leaving behind a legacy as a talented and influential actress and singer. Gloria Dehaven, an actress under MGM contract, was often suspended for refusing roles she believed to be beneath her. She spent most of her time on suspension, turning down parts such as Pat McCollan in Good News. Despite this, she was only given starring roles in secondary projects like Summer Holiday and The Yellow Cab Man. Dee Haven accepted the role of Abigail Falbury in Summerstock to fulfill her contract and gain her freedom. In Two Girls and a Sailor, Dee Haven co-starred with June Allison. Allison's husband, Dick Powell, suggested they switch roles, with Dee Haven playing the glamorous sister. Dee Haven later expressed her regret, stating that Allison's role was more substantial. 
In an act of kindness, Marlene Dietrich once washed Dehaven's hair at MGM's makeup and hair department. Dietrich had entered the room to retrieve gold paint for Kismet and decided to wash Dehaven's hair while she waited for the studio beauticians. Dehaven was left stunned and grateful for the unexpected gesture. Gloria Dehaven, an actress known for her lively performances, had several breakthrough moments in her career. In 1944, she starred in Two Girls and a Sailor, which was a major hit and brought her to the attention of a wider audience. The film's director, Richard Thorpe, praised Dehaven's sparkling performance and said she had a unique ability to light up the screen. Another significant moment came in 1953 when Dehaven received critical acclaim for her role in Summer Stock where she starred alongside Judy Garland and Gene Kelly. The film's choreographer, Michael Kidd, said that Dehaven brought a special energy to the production and that her performance was pivotal to the film's success. In 1960, Dehaven's career reached new heights when she was cast in the hit television show Hennessy. Playing the character of Lieutenant Martha Hale, Dehaven received widespread praise for her comedic timing and dramatic range. The show's creator, Don Sharp, said that Dee Haven was an absolute delight to work with and that she brought depth and nuance to her character. Throughout her career, Gloria Dee Haven continued to make an impact in both film and television, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of entertainment. Her breakthrough moments showcase her talent, versatility, and dedication to her craft, and her contributions continue to be celebrated and cherished by audiences and industry professionals alike. Gloria Dehaven shared her first screen kiss with Frank Sinatra in the 1944 musical Step Lively. A notable moment in her career, this kiss marked a significant point in Hollywood history. Unfortunately, one of her performances in Summerstock, a duet with Phil Silvers, was cut from the film. However, the music lovers can still enjoy this deleted duet on the Rhino Handmade CD of the soundtrack. In 1960, Gloria's contributions to the film industry were recognized with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6933 Hollywood Boulevard. This honor is a testament to her dedication and the lasting impact she has made in the world of entertainment. Her star serves as a reminder of her talent and the joy she brought to audiences through her work. Gloria Dehaven, throughout her acting career, brought a unique blend of grace and humor to her roles. She had a distinct approach to her work, often preferring to develop her characters through subtle gestures and reactions rather than grandiose speeches. This understated style made her performances relatable and engaging to audiences. Dehaven's personal experiences often influenced her work. Having grown up in a show business family, she had a deep understanding of the joys and challenges of the entertainment industry. This insight is reflected in her portrayal of various characters, from ambitious showgirls to supportive wives. Her worldview, shaped by the social and cultural changes she lived through, also informed her acting. She was known for her strong-willed and independent characters, reflecting the changing role of women in society during her career. In essence, Gloria Dehaven's artistic vision was characterized by her unique blend of subtlety, relatability, and strength. Her approach to acting, shaped by her personal experiences and worldview, left a lasting impact on the industry and continues to be admired today. Gloria Dehaven, a successful actress, made her film debut at the age of 11 in modern times, playing one of the Gammon sisters. Her father, Carter Dehaven, was the assistant director, and some sources claim he helped shape the script. Two Girls and a Sailor, released in 1944, featured Dee Haven as Jean Dale. Despite its star-studded cast, it was not filmed in Technicolor due to the studio's focus on Broadway rhythm. Although the latter was intended to showcase Jenny Sims, it flopped, while Two Girls and a Sailor was a hit, making Dee Haven, June Allison, and Van Johnson into stars. Dee Haven replaced Ann Miller as Helen Hargrove in Call Her Mom, after Miller had taken over for Sid Caris. Despite starting her career as a child, Dee Haven's film career continued, and she became a well-known actress in her own right. Gloria Dee Haven was a significant figure in the golden age of Hollywood, known for her lively spirit and impressive acting range. 
She appeared in over 30 films throughout her career, often playing ingenues and songbirds. Dee Haven's contributions to the film industry include her work in musicals and comedies, as well as her impact on the Hollywood social scene. One of Dee Haven's most notable roles was in the 1944 musical Two Girls and a Sailor, where she starred alongside Van Johnson and June Allison. Her performance showcased her singing and acting talents and solidified her status as a rising star. Dee Haven's ability to sing and dance added an extra layer of versatility to her acting, making her a valuable asset to any production. Dee Haven's impact on the film industry extended beyond her on-screen performances. She was also known for her involvement in the Hollywood social scene, attending glamorous parties and events alongside other Hollywood stars. Her presence contributed to the vibrant energy of the golden age of Hollywood, and her stories and memories provided valuable insights into that era. Industry experts and those inspired by Dee Haven have praised her contributions to the film industry. Film historian and author G9 Basinger described Dee Haven as a delightful comedian with a sweet, clear singing voice and a great sense of fun. Actress and singer Kristen Cheno has cited Dee Haven as an inspiration, noting that Gloria Dee Haven was a true triple threat with her singing, dancing, and acting talents. Dee Haven's influence can still be seen in modern storytelling, particularly in the representation of strong and talented women in film. Her legacy continues to inspire new generations of actors and filmmakers who strive to embody her spirit and versatility. In summary, Gloria Dee Haven was a talented actress, singer, and dancer who made significant contributions to the film industry during the golden age of Hollywood. Her impact extended beyond her on-screen performances, as she was also a prominent figure in the Hollywood social scene. Dee Haven's legacy continues to inspire and influence new generations of performers and filmmakers, ensuring that her contributions will be remembered for years to come. Gloria Dee Haven was acquainted with several notable figures in the film industry, including Janet Lee, Mickey Rooney, June Allison, Ann Miller, Maria McDonald, Donald O'Connor, Virginia O'Brien, and Tony Curtis. In the 1944 film Two Girls in a Sailor, she played the role of Jean Deo, but despite the film's success and the rise of Van Johnson and June Allison to stardom, Dee Haven remained a supporting player. This outcome caused tension, leading her to decline various roles at MGM, including the immoral gold digger Pat McCollin in Good News, which eventually went to Patricia Marshall. MGM suspended Dee Haven for refusing to do Good News, a decision that resulted from her desire to secure leading roles, even if they were secondary. Throughout her time at the studio, she spent many periods on suspension, appearing in films such as Summer Holiday and The Yellow Cabman. Gloria Dee Haven, the actress, had a rich life outside of Hollywood. She was a devoted wife and mother, and she cherished the time she spent with her family. In her personal life, Gloria valued kindness, generosity, and compassion. These values were reflected in her work as an actress, as she often chose roles that highlighted the importance of community and caring for others. In addition to her acting career, Gloria was also passionate about giving back to her community. She was involved in several philanthropic efforts throughout her life, including supporting various charities and organizations that focused on helping those in need. Gloria was particularly interested in supporting causes related to children, education, and the arts. She believed that everyone deserved access to education and the opportunity to pursue their dreams, and she worked tirelessly to make these opportunities a reality for others. Gloria's personal interests also informed her work as an actress. She was an avid reader and loved to learn about new things, which helped her to bring depth and nuance to her roles. Gloria was also a talented singer and dancer, and she often incorporated these skills into her performances. Her love of music and dance was a source of joy for her, and she shared this joy with audiences around the world. Overall, Gloria Dee Haven was a remarkable woman who left a lasting impact on the world. Her personal values and interests were an integral part of her work as an actress, and she used her platform to make a difference in the lives of others. Through her philanthropic efforts and her dedication to her craft, Gloria will always be remembered as a kind, generous, and talented individual who inspired others to be their best selves. Gloria Dee Haven was a well-known actress, known for her conservative political beliefs and her support for prominent Republican figures such as Dwight D. Eisenhower, Richard Nixon, and Ronald Reagan. 
She appeared in several films over the years, including Modern Times, where she played the role of Gammon's sister. Despite her many contributions to the film industry, Dee Haven was one of several notable MGM stars who did not receive a featured number in the film that's entertainment. Other overlooked actors included Sid Caris, Van Johnson, Carmen Miranda, and Ricardo Montalban. Additionally, popular films such as Brigadoon, Easter Parade, and Andy Get Your Gun were not represented in the compilation. Despite these omission, that's entertainment, remains a beloved anthology of MGM musicals. The film sequel, which was released two years later, featured additional musical numbers and performances that had been excluded from the original. In addition to her work in modern times, DeHaven also appeared in other notable films such as Summerstock and Two Weeks with Love. Her talent and contributions to the film industry have left a lasting impact, and she will always be remembered as a cherished and accomplished actress. Gloria DeHaven left a lasting impact on the film and television industry with her lively performances and versatility. Her ability to shine in various genres, from musicals to dramas, established her as a respected and admired actress. She also contributed to the growth of the industry through her work behind the scenes, further solidifying her status as a vital figure in Hollywood. For those aspiring to follow in her footsteps, Dee Haven would likely emphasize the importance of adaptability and continuous learning. With the entertainment landscape constantly evolving, it's crucial to stay updated with new trends and technologies. She might also encourage young professionals to seek out mentors and collaborate with others to expand their skills and knowledge. In terms of future contributions, Dee Haven's legacy encourages aspiring actors and actresses to push the boundaries of their craft and explore new artistic avenues. By embracing the ever-changing landscape of the entertainment industry and remaining open to growth and innovation, they can create a lasting impact and inspire future generations of artists. Gloria DeHaven replaced Ann Miller in the 1972 film Call Her Mom, a role originally intended for Sid Caris. DeHaven made her Broadway debut in a musical version of Seventh Heaven alongside Ricardo Montalban in 1955. She was the daughter of actor-director Carter DeHaven and actress Flora Parker DeHaven, born during their brief reconciliation after a 22-year marriage and subsequent divorce. DeHaven had two children, Kathleen Payne and Thomas Payne, with her first husband, John Payne. She married and divorced Richard W. Fincher twice from 1957-63 and 1966-69, having two more children, Harry Fincher and Faith Fincher. Dee Haven was also the mother of actor Richard Dee Haven and the grandmother of actress Holly Payne. In addition, she was the sister of assistant director and manager Carter Dee Haven Jr. and the ex-stepmother of Julie Payne. Catherine Town is Dee Haven's ex-step-granddaughter. Throughout her life, Dee Haven had a successful career in film and theater and a fulfilling personal life with multiple marriages and children. Gloria Dee Haven was a dedicated actress who pursued her passion for entertainment from a young age. She began her career in the 1930s as a child actress and went on to appear in over 50 films throughout her career. Dee Haven's innovative spirit and versatile talent allowed her to excel in various genres, including musicals, comedies, and dramas. Throughout her life, Dee Haven remained a prominent figure in the entertainment industry, inspiring generations of actors and actresses. She starred in numerous Broadway productions, television shows, and films, solidifying her status as a Hollywood legend. One of Dee Haven's most significant contributions to the entertainment industry was her ability to captivate audiences with her charisma and talent truly. Her impact transcended generations and continues to resonate with fans today. Dee Haven's perseverance and creativity serve as a testament to the power of determination and artistic expression. Her life and career are a reminder that with hard work and dedication, anyone can leave a lasting impact on the world. In conclusion, Gloria Dee Haven's passion, innovation, and enduring impact on the entertainment industry will be remembered for generations to come. Her legacy serves as a reminder of the power of creativity and perseverance, inspiring aspiring artists to pursue their dreams and make their mark on the world. Gloria Dee Haven's career in the entertainment industry was both long and varied. She started as a child actress and transitioned to a juvenile and leading lady in Hollywood. 
Her versatility was evident as she also performed as a nightclub singer, stage actress in Broadway and London theater, and as a television actress and hostess. From January 1969 to February 1971, Dehaven hosted the morning movie series Prize Movie on WABC-TV in Los Angeles, California. Her experience and talent allowed her to excel in any role she took on, making her a well-respected figure in the industry. Gloria Dehaven, a well-known actress, experienced a tragic loss in her personal life. Her first husband, John Payne, with whom she had two children, divorced her, and later married Deborah Paget. This had a profound impact on Dehaven, leading to a difficult period in her life. Dehaven's acting career began in the 1930s when she was just a child. She appeared in several films alongside her mother, actress Flora Parker Dehaven. However, it was in the 1940s when Dehaven's career truly took off, with prominent roles in films such as Two Girls and A Sailor and Summer Stock. Despite her success on the big screen, Dehaven faced challenges in her personal life, including her divorce from Payne. She later married Richard Fincher, but they also divorced. Dehaven's third marriage to Martin Kimmel lasted until his death in 1984. Throughout her career, Dehaven continued to act in films and on television. She even made appearances on Broadway, showing her versatility and range as an actress. Dehaven's career spanned over six decades, making her a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. In conclusion, while Gloria Dehaven's career was marked by success and longevity, her personal life was marred by tragedy and loss. Nonetheless, she persevered and remained a fixture in the entertainment industry, leaving behind a lasting legacy. It's time for us to celebrate the wonderful career and contributions of actress Gloria Dehaven. Her work on the big screen has left a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. We would love to hear your thoughts on Dehaven's movies and shows in the comments below. Dehaven was known for her lively and engaging performances that brought characters to life. Her legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and actresses today. We encourage you to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Let us know in the comments which Dehaven film is your favorite. Join us as we honor Gloria Dehaven and all that she brought to the table in the entertainment industry. Let's keep her legacy alive through our memories and celebrations. Thanks for being a part of our community.